Hi, crafty friends. This is Amanda. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Michigan. Welcome to my channel and thanks for joining me for my 30 nights video. Now I'm going to stamp uh, using my Misty today because my Stamparettis is currently in use and everything is lined up absolutely perfectly. So I don't want to use it. You understand, I hope. But anyways, we're going to take this brand new stamp set that's from the new catalog, catalog blah, 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 that's coming out um, in May. Yeah, May. And we're giving a sneak peek of it. So it's going to be available on March 2nd. So I'm going to stamp this in a hybrid of black uh, pigment and uh, dye ink. It's one stamp. I don't know if you like that. Mm, we'll see. Uh, but I'm going to stamp it in black and then I'm going to do some coloring with it. I didn't want to use my blends. I think that if I had those Rangers detailed mini blending tool, that would have been better. But this is what I had. So this is what we're going to use. So I'm using uh, Pacific Point and Bermuda Bay. I'm going to throw in some gorgeous grape, maybe a little bit of Heather, Heather Highland and some Knight of Navy. And instead of cutting these out with the die that cuts this out, you know, with a little, an eighth of an inch, I'm going to cut it out by hand. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to get my embossing paste. And I just got a new stencil. It's called Art Is by Crafter's Companion. Beautiful script stencil. And I'm going to use my uh, embossing paste and do the entire panel and this is 100% uh, cotton Strathmore watercolor paper. If you guys have the chance of getting 100% cotton, it's a lot more forgiving than um, a wood pulp uh, watercolor paper. I know that the Fluid 100 that Stampin' Up! sells is 100% uh, cotton, but unfortunately it's too small for what I'm using, what I need to use it for. So that's why I always use the Strathmore or Arches, which, yes, it's a dollar a page on sale, but still, you know, if you want it to look nice. And the colors are much more vibrant on 100% cotton. All right, so I have this all embossed up with my embossing paste. This is only the second or third time I've done this, and I had so much fun. So then I thought I'd take the brick stencil and do the same thing. Again, this is on um, a white piece of... Uh, watercolor paper. There's nothing going on yet, but we're just embossing it over. Now on the first panel, I embossed the entire thing, the script. On the second panel, on this panel that I'm doing here, I'm doing it in little areas. Okay, I don't want them to be um, completely full. I don't want the pattern to be completely full, just, just in little areas. And I am uh, kind of like pushing it down and swiping it off, kind of like frosting a cake. It's really easy. I mean, it's as soon as you get your hands on it, you'll know exactly what to do. Um, it comes, it starts out as this kind of like a pale white. And then when it's dry, it gets uh, bright white. It's really great. And I'm going to watercolor over it, hence why I need watercolor paper. I'm going to watercolor in um, Pacific Point. Look at that. Isn't that fun? You get tons of texture out of this, but I'm going to make it actually look nice. I wish I would have left some white space on this panel, but oh well. It is what it is. I learned my lesson. I did four panels. So I'm going to start out with Pacific Point and then bring in some Granny Apple Green. I did try Old Olive on a, another, you know, before I taped, before I videoed. I guess taped is kind of an, you know, an old saying. But anyways, once I began videoing, but I did it before, you know, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, lost my train of thought. So I tried Old Olive and I really like the Granny Apple Green better. It's just brighter. Um, you know, green is green. I'm not a big green fan, but I like the uh, the brightness of the Granny Apple Green with the Pacific Point. All right. Now you can use the Very Visai, uh tech stamp. You can. It's just way too small for this five by seven. So I have a tech stamp that I'm going to use and it is a six by six. So it covers practically my entire sheet of paper. And this way I can get it um, straight. I can get the text straight. And I didn't think that that would matter, but that's what I did beforehand with Very Visai. And it's just, mm, I don't like if it's not straight. I know that sounds terrible, but I really like it straight. It's just not pleasing to my eye. 
unless that script, which you cannot read, but still, you know what I mean? It just has to be straight. It's It might be a little bit off, but nothing like, you know, the very Versailles. Now, if you want to do the very Versailles because you're doing a smaller, uh, smaller card, no big deal. You do you. But you might want to use it with your hands instead of a block, or you might want to do it with a block. You try both ways. All right, again, I'm going to do this, and this is going to be messy. I believe this is on a blank paper, blank watercolor paper. Did, I remember when we were doing watercoloring, right? <laughs> All watercolor paper today. So just as, this is just blank, and I thought that I'd like to emboss it with our scripty. 3D embossing folder. So that's what we're going to do next. But again, we're going to add just a tiny bit of green, dry it so that I can send it through my Big Shot. Now, I edited this out because I was really struggling to get this through. I did not have the right sandwich, but I was determined to get it through. So <laughs> it was kind of funny to see, but not funny enough to leave on. You understand. It was just way way wrong. So be careful how you put your sandwich through. Uh, I had used the magnetic plate and I know not to do that, but I did. I didn't want to go look for the other one, but oh well. I'm going to use a baby wipe to kind of sop up a little of the paint off of the raised areas. And that way I can get this to be a little bit whiter. I really wanted some white space. And as you can see, I left very little white space. It's just me. I, I don't know what to say. It just is. All right, I'm going to take some black acrylic paint and I'm going to do the worst thing in the world. I'm going to use my very expensive paint, my watercolor paintbrush to use it. But I rushed, I, I did rinse it out really well. But I'm going to do some splatters because it needs some. I mean, it always needs some. This one's a little bit busier, a little bit darker. I don't know if I like it, but it's script on script. Now, this one is the script with the... Uh, bricks and I like that one. Okay, so with the watercolor paper that we did a little bit of splotches on, I'm going to add the embossing paste on top. So it's white and it looks so cool. You just can't, there's just no way of getting the same technique with an embossing folder. You guys are going to have to break out the embossing paste. It's worth it. All right, now, so you see here that I did it off, you know, it wasn't straight. So I just scraped it off and did it again. It's very forgiving. Love it. It was fun. And again, it's going to be white. This is a little bit larger panel than I want to be. I'll cut it down a little bit, but I always like to make mine bigger and then, you know, cut it down. So this was my inspiration piece. I had done this, oh, back in the fall, never got to showing you this guy. So I'm like, well, I want to do something a little bit different, a little bit mixed media. So today is the day I was so excited to play. I mean, it was so much fun. I didn't want to get out of the basement. The only reason I did is because I was in pain. I had been in pain for three days straight. Cannot get rid of the pain this last three days. Sorry, guys. I know I'm whining and complaining, but it has been the worst couple of days. So I'm so glad to be back and on YouTube and doing something. But if I if I could have stayed down there longer, man, I would have had so much fun. You would have seen 15 of these rather than just four. So I'm just going to cut these down to size, and by size, I mean a base panel, which is, of course, four and three quarters by six and three quarters. I really wanted to leave as most the most white space as I can, so I tr strategically cut them off. All right. Rooted in Nature has this Be Strong, Be Happy, Be You sentiment, which I kind of like. I never thought that I was the type of person that would use one of these sentiments where I cut them up. Well, guess what? I actually cut them up and use them on my card. It was really something out of the box and something not normally what I would do. You know what I mean? Saying I just, I, I didn't think that I'd be the one to cut these apart. And I actually cut these apart because here they are, they're still together. I'm like, okay, here it goes. Here it goes. And I place them down. I try to get it as straight as possible. That's really hard. All right. So here is Granny Apple Green and Pacific Point. Oh, this is old olive. I'm like, do I like it? Do I like it? Oh, what if I choose Granny Apple Green? It's it's a stretch. It's very bold. Oh, and in the end, I go plain with just Pacific Point and white. So I'm not as bold as I wanted to be. I should have done that old olive and 
specific point, but what are you going to do? Sometimes you've got to stay in your comfort zone a little bit, right? (laughs) I hope you guys are doing well. And I hope uh, those of you that have a pain disorder like me are not in my situation with the weather. And Donna, I want to let you know that I'm thinking of you, sweetheart. Um, I would love for you to contact me on my email so that I could get your address. I'd like to send you a sympathy card, sweetie. All right. I did use some black uh, glaze pen to do some highlighting of my um, butterflies. Now, I did emboss this in, I did uh, use pigment ink and emboss this. So it was I pigment ink in black and embossed it in clear. I know that was a long sentence that went circle, 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 but it does not work. It looks terrible when you color it because there's so much, uh, it's so sketchy. I was very unhappy how it looked embossed in black. So I might actually go to a different butterfly if I do this again. I don't know how much I'm in love with this with this particular stamp set for this. Now, I could see if you're going to do a background and it's going to be just the butterflies and it's a one and done stamp and be done, you know, like uh, crumb cake on crumb cake. Yeah, that might be a really good idea to have the four different butterflies. I might cut these apart, but hmm, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be one of my go-to butterfly stamp sets. We had the watercolor wings that was gorgeous and we also had one other one that was so beautiful and I'm sorry that they're retired because I just don't think this one is a good replacement. Now I stamped happy birthday on Pacific Point with uh Knight of Navy and then I made it little banners by using the triple banner punch. I don't like it at all. But I don't have any of those little I really like those little sentiments sticking out. So you know what I did you guys? While while that's happening there and I'm doing this, I got the Small Talk uh, Snarkies from Ideology. Oh, they're hilarious. I want you to know someone cares. Not me, but someone. Why limit happy to one hour? My favorite thing to make for dinner is reservations. I was going to do something today, but I haven't finished doing nothing from yesterday. And then let's see. Of course, I talk to myself. Sometimes I need an expert opinion. Oh, these are so hilarious. I wish more people were fluent in silence. Hey, train wreck, this is your station. Oh, my gosh. Some of these aren't really nice. Like, um, I'm sorry, I didn't. Did I roll my eyes out loud? I mean, some of them are please cancel my subscription to your issues. They're a little bit more snarky than I even feel comfortable putting with. But I put on this. Oh, what did I put on this? Um, Something for a friend of mine that I think that she would enjoy. Relax. We're all crazy. This is not a competition. I mean, come on. (laughs) It is so perfect for this particular channel. Don't you agree? If you guys not have picked up those or looked at those snarkies from the ideology line, the small talk, and then there's small conversations, I think, which are a little bit, you know, different. But yeah, hmm. these are quite hilarious. The uh, sarcasm is strong with this one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to add some Wink Estella to my beautiful butterfly backgroundy things. What do you think? Let me know. I'd love your opinion. And if you don't like it, please let me know too. Have a best day, guys. Thanks.